Young people in his house, we find joy in Jesus' name. If the words are going to win the prize, take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation, soul by soul, on a ship proclaim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever in mission understands and knows what he or she can experience in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord, there is celebration. In the house of the Lord, there is freedom. We can worship, we can shout, we can raise up our hands because we are meeting with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So young people, Amers, SNLers, join us now as we worship our wonderful Jesus.
Claire Aimer, kumusta? Are you having a good time with your classmates as you spend time learning online? I bet some of you already had meetings and interactions with your classmates. Maybe some of you have made friends already. Now, Amos, what if a friend of yours asks for advice for a situation that he or she faces? What would you say or do? Remind yourself of what 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 says. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. By the way, I am Pastor Judy. Let's get started on how to be like Christ in these trying times. Since you and I are achievers in mission, how are we going to respond in such a situation like that? It's easy to tell a word to your friend, but the question is, what will really encourage that person? What will help the two of you build each other up? Sure enough, it's the encouragement that comes from the Lord. It's the truthfulness of God's word. John 17 verse 17 says, Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Amers, point that person to the word of God. Romans 10 verse 17 says, So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Having said of that, Amers, remember that the encouragement is not from you but from God's word. Let the faith of that person be strengthened through hearing the word which was not given by you but by the Lord. Do not be ashamed to share real and biblical encouragement rather than cliché quotes. If you're asking how, here's how. If someone seeks for advice, immediately grab the opportunity to share the gospel. Remember the story of Paul and Silas in Acts 16, 25-34? They wasted no time to share the real solution in the jail guard situation. They built each other up with the truthfulness of how the Lord makes a way. Number two, Amor, do not be like Job's friends. Ephesians 4 verse 29 says, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Let your mouth speak only the truthfulness of God's word. We don't evaluate the situation with a one-sided perception. Hence, with the lenses of the gospel, share what needs to be heard, do what has to be done. Build each other up in kindness and tenderness of heart. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God, Christ, forgave you. Amor, let the sincerity of your heart build your relationship with others. Always be like Christ. Build each other up, for you are an achiever in mission. It says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See you next week for more. Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. Let us open our Bibles in Psalms 122, verse 1 and 2. We want to talk about in his house, there is joy. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates of Jerusalem. You see, young people, in the house of God, there is celebration. In the house of God, there is joy. You see, it's either you see, it's either you look at church and you look at church as a boring place to be, or you look at church as a place where you find joy, where you find joy in the presence of our wonderful God. Let me give you an object lesson right now, young people. Marketplace and junk shop. Why do you go to marketplace? To buy wet goods, to buy dry goods, to buy things that we need for our food, for our daily food, and all the other things that we need. Why do you go to junk shop? To get, to, to buy, or to sell used bottles, to sell use newspapers you see there's a difference between the two you know what to expect when you go to the market you know what to expect when you go to the junk shop when we go to the house of the lord young people we know what to expect we can expect the presence of god we can expect the preaching of the word of god we can expect miracles to happen we can expect healings to happen we can expect a turn around to happen why this is what the book of Psalms says. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You see, every time we talk about pandemic right now, we feel stress, we feel burden, there is sadness, 
how many thousands of people died already because of COVID. But when we hear the house of the Lord, when we go to the house of the Lord, there is such expectation that every day would just go well. Because the house of the Lord is His house and His name dwells in His house. Now, when we go to church, young people, what do we need to expect? We can expect that in the house of God, we will be guided. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. When we go to the house of God, we can expect to be guided if we guard our hearts. If you let the preaching of the word guard your hearts. If we let the moving of those Holy Spirit guard our hearts, change our hearts, change our lives. But if our hearts are not guarded, we don't want the move of the Holy Spirit. We don't want the healing power of Jesus that is present yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Nothing will happen. So we always guard our hearts. We always guard our hearts. When we go to the house of the Lord, we are glad because we know something good is going to happen. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. We pray for all of our young people. Lord, help us to really, Lord God, find that right expectation. To expect your presence. To expect the move of the Holy Spirit. To expect a turn around in our lives. Because Jesus, you are the head of this church. You are the head of your church, Lord. And you will bring such change and encouragement in our lives when we go into your house. We worship you. We honor you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You are an achiever and mission in Christ. Amen.